Alright guys, it's Bob here and I've got one a little different for you this time. Might be a little echoey because I'm in the kitchen this time. And I thought I'd just do a quick unbox of this and uh, sort of like a first use because I'm really looking forward to trying it. Uh, so, you know, this is the uh, AeroPress by Aerobi. Um, Robin Sand from Denver says it's the best coffee maker I've ever owned. So, now I got this from uh, Pennine Tune Coffee, or uh, you can also get it uh, through the website um, uh, foamaniacs.co.uk. If you look up Coffee Maniacs in there, you'll find it in the uh, the box uh, in the boxes down the side on the website. So you know you open up the box; these are the first things you get. You get this, which um, is, it's a stirrer basically um, and then you get the scoop for the coffee and then we get let's have a look we get a funnel and I think it does as a bit of a stand really and you get your instructions of course always read them I've actually already had a bit of a read on myself so uh, <clears throat> excuse my voice a little bit husky guys uh, that's just some packaging that was around uh, these two pieces here and this is the actual press itself and as you can see you've got a plunger with a rubber seal around the bottom there and um, I've already read that you should probably leave this wet um, it says uh, if you leave leave some moisture on it and what have you and uh, that way it helps to keep the rubber in good condition and uh, stops the seal from breaking down of course and if we turn it over you can see that we've got this bit here and that is to hold I'll show you your filters now this is the bit that's actually designed for putting your filters in where are we there we go so you've got a pack of filters there and they go into there now I've had it all in sort of uh, good authority from uh, the guy that sold me it Mr Robert Cooper I'll leave a link to his uh, vlog channel underneath actually so you can go and check him out and uh, basically, I mean, there's so many different ways of using this. I've even watched a few videos and there's people actually using it upside down as well, which uh, they say is a better way of creating um, yourself a cup of coffee. So what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna go through the, the whole process of uh, putting it together and making myself a coffee and hopefully not making a prat of myself. So here goes, guys. If that's not going to stay, what you should do is put a little bit of uh, water on it, I've been told. So I'm just going to pop and do that now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this uh, coffee now. This one's been freshly roasted. Now I've got the uh, paperwork for this. I'm going to try and I'll try and scan it in and make some kind of a, I'm not sure, uh, some line that kind of a link so you guys can read it if you're interested in it. It's like the provenance for this, because apparently this is quite an expensive and rather rare coffee. And remember, Pennine Coffee, that's where you get it from. There's the website there. Okay, pennine.coffee.co.uk. It smells absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I haven't even opened it and you can smell this, you know, it just smells beautiful what's coming through there. I mean, if you like a good cup of coffee, then, you know, something like this is always worth having, you know, and this is a very reasonable price, you know, you're not paying sort of like barista machine prices for it. So it's a very simple and effective way of making yourself a nice cup of coffee. So, a couple of scoops of that. So there's one, two, oh, it smells absolutely fantastic, this does, guys, it really does. Right, so that's that. Quite a dark looking roast this one actually. And I'm just gonna give that a few more seconds just to sort of soak in guys. Now this is supposed to give you I believe uh, one to two cups. Now obviously cup size varies and uh, I always, uh, you know, with the better quality coffees, I tend to drink it black, which is really the way it should be done. Uh, always let your water go off the boil. Um, you don't want it uh, too hot because it, it, it does ruin the flavor of the coffee if you get it too hot.
And then all you do guys is you take that off and then just give the bottom a clean before you remove the plunger. That way you don't get all your coffee grounds all the way back up inside the tube up here. So that's probably a little too hot to drink. So I'm going to add a drop of cold water to that just to ease it back off rather than put cream or milk in. And I'll let you guys know what I think of it. So here goes guys. Cheers. That is very, very nice. It's, uh, it's a very aromatic coffee. The smell is absolutely stunning. And not bitter either. Very, very nice. <coughs> so there you go, guys. That's the AeroPress by Aerobi. And along with the coffee, it was supplied by Pennine Tea and Coffee. Um, I'll leave all the links below. And uh, you'll be able to go and check it out. All right? So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. See you.